making Mexican food, ceviche and uh, fajitas. So uh, as you can see, we got some onions here, um, got some tomatoes, got some chilies, and we got coriander, which is um, the English word for, well, back in the US they call it cilantro, so I actually had to Google that shit because I didn't know what I'm looking for. Right, we have to chop these bad boys up. So maybe I'm, maybe I'm not gonna cut my fingers on camera. What do you think? I know, I was watching the camera, I almost cut myself, almost. For some reason this onion is really getting on my nerves. Cool. I think that should do it. I don't want to overreact, so we'll keep this on the side. We'll see if we need it or not. Now, we need to chop these bad boys up. And, uh, I specifically bought the tomatoes a little bit harder, you know, because they're easier to chop. And we're looking for nice cubes here, yeah? Okay, something like that. Louis, if you're watching this, Hola Mexicano! <laughs> let's stay, let's stick with that for now. And then, what we're gonna do is, how spicy do you want this? Uh, not medium? Good. Medium. Okay. I'm asking Oli because he doesn't like spicy food that much. And we all know what happens when Oli has yeah. spicy food. Yeah. <laughs> I can't go into the bathroom for about half an hour. Remember, whatever goes in, it goes out. <laughs> yeah. Fire in the hole! <laughs> oh, I think that's gonna be spicy on you, but you know what? Tough luck, you're gonna have to eat it. <laughs> Guess what? I will. I will. <laughs> Righty, mix that up in there. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Hmm, yep. Now, the pièce de résistance. For those of you who don't speak Chinese, that means the best stuff, basically. Um, we, just need, we don't want to put too much, but we don't want to put too little. Because we need this, this is like a, this is the secret basically, behind Mexican food. Um, and behind other cuisines like Asian and stuff. Um, coriander. Gives it a nice little. Okay, we're not supposed to put the tails in, but okay. <laughs> My camera didn't notice that, so. Yeah, good. We'll, we'll cut that out. Actually, this will be one of. No, you have to edit that. Yeah. That is Romanian made pico de gallo. I'm saying that because it might not be like the one you get in Mexico, but hell, we're in London. We do what we do. Oh man, it's spicy. It's spicy. Right, then we do that in there. Because that's another thing that what makes this be so good is the fact that the lime juice will interact with the coriander. Nice buzz. That's what we like. And Gina, if you're watching this, I know yours tastes better, but I couldn't wait. Just <laughs> mm. a little more. A little more. I should have worn something more appropriate, don't you think? It depends who's watching. <laughs> okay, for, for everyone out there, yeah, this is not how I normally dress up, but yeah. because the heat has been on for about three hours. Yeah, normally he's without. Yeah, normally <laughs> I don't wear a shirt. <laughs> or a wife beater, as I'm sure Rick will obviously spot out that, oh, you just wearing your wife beater, blah, blah, blah. Who's Rick? Yeah, who is Rick? Guacamole. 
So, you need avocados, which I'm gonna attempt to show you how it's done. I'm not very sure if it's this is the proper way, but this is how I do it. Um, yeah, so two avocados. Well, you can use three, depends. I think two is enough for two people. And since it's just two of us, I don't see why I should put one in two. So, it's, it's always tricky to get this seed out. Mm. That's good. And, um, <clears throat> oh, there we go. See, that's why, another rule, don't wear white in the kitchen, but it's too late now. So, hey. Uh, right, so what we're gonna do is, <clears throat> we need to use a spoon to get those babies out. So, you get a spoon, and just, well, actually, I've seen this somewhere. So what they do is, they do this first. Uh, make like little cubes in there. Apparently, it's easier to take out. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Right, so you take this out, all of it, and right, this, I was um, told that the previous video was a bit too long, so we're gonna have to speed things up a little bit, right, Okay. Right. <clears throat> so, let's cut to the chase. Alrighty. And um, since we're not in Mexico, we're in London. We're gonna do it London style. I know that there's lots of ways to do it. I've seen videos. If you're interested in another way of doing it, and if you want to really, really get the the um, the real recipe, you just have to go in um, on Google, and you have or well, not actually on YouTube, and you have to type in "cómo hacer guacamole" or something like that. Anyways, that's the uh, Spanish for how to make guacamole. Because you know, when it comes to these things, I want I want to learn from the actual people that invented it right um, I've seen other recipes out there and you know this is how we do it well actually this is how I'm doing it always filming <laughs> this is how we do it okay. and just you know, mash it in there nicely you don't have to overdo it uh... okay so that's finished and again, we go back to chopping tomatoes. Seems to be my favorite activity for the day today. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Right, tomatoes, tomato, whatever. Uh, I learned my English back in the States, so I'm very sorry. Been living in London for three years, but I still didn't get the accent. And uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna get it, to be honest. Um, not that I have anything against it, but you know. I look uh, a little better. Okay. Just so you know, you're supposed to chop them a little smaller, but just to save time, we're doing that. Yeah. Are you still gonna eat it, Augie? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So far, so good. Right, now, onion. Now, I could have used the normal type of onion, you know, the long ones that I used earlier. But the thing is, these uh, give a slightly different taste than those, because they're um, greener, should I say. So, we're gonna use them. I like to use these. I like these a lot, actually. So, we're gonna just chop off the ends here. And, um, yeah, again, no set number, you know. It's not like, oh, you have, you need four onions, whatever. It just, uh, depends on how you like it, really. I like onions, so, Augie likes onions, so, we're gonna use four. Favorite vegetable is meat. <laughs> Your favorite vegetable is meat. Okay, <laughs> so so that makes you a vegetarian, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, got them in there, nice and tidy. And again, hmm, hmm. Almost there now. Again. Ingredients. You cannot make Mexican food without these. Honestly, it's just something special about limes that uh, I don't know. I just love them. 
So, but you don't want to put too much, especially in the uh, guacamole, because then it becomes too watery, and you don't want that. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the uh, tortilla wraps, and you're gonna put this on the wrap, um, kind of like like you would put butter on bread, really. So if it's too watery, then you won't be able to do that, right? Plus, it's very messy when you eat it, and we know that Augie is messy, right? Oh, yes. For those of you who, hasn't, who haven't seen Augie eating, it's a spectacle. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. See? That's your guacamole right there. Now, there's people out there that say you need, you're supposed to put garlic in there. My personal preference is that I'm not going to put garlic in there. But, if you want, you can. And again, some cilantro. Or the coriander, yeah. Just to um, give it another nice little taste. Then, yeah. right. So what we've done, we just put some more foil. I know it's not perfect, but it does the job. And then in the fridge, and then we're gonna take out the chicken breast for phase three, and also the uh, peppers. And. We are going to prepare them for the fajitas. <clears throat> okay, so um, fajitas. Chicken breast, red onions this time, because they taste better. <laughs> Peppers, uh, and that's about it, to be honest. Now, chicken breast is number one here. I think two pieces should do it. So, one thing that my mom taught me is always wash the meat. Always wash the meat. So, do a nice, nice little wash here. And that one too. Okay. Now we're gonna need a plate for this. Here. And away we go. So, what you wanna do is. You want to cut like thin strips, um, and obviously you want to eat only chicken, so don't cut your fingers. <laughs> Although last time I made this, I did cut my fingers, and Augie had a little taste of human flesh, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> he knows now. Oh, that's why it was so good. <laughs> uh, so what we do is take another lime, probably the last one that we're going to use today, and. Basically, you just sprinkle some lime juice on top of the chicken. Because we're not going to cook it right now, we're going to cook it probably in about half an hour or so. It's going to be enough time for the lime to interact with the chicken, if you will. And now we'll move on to the onions. And this time what we do with the onions is... Here, right there, for my American friends, my British friends will have no idea what I mean. Basically, what you want to do is see, you cut it, and then you just kind of like separate the um, layers, if you will. Um, just like by messing around with them a little bit because it'll make it easier to cook. And peppers. Now, with peppers, I'm gonna be weird. I like to use the yellow one for fajitas. Uh, not that they taste different. I don't think, I, I don't believe in that myth that, you know, that depending on the color, they taste different. But yellow and red are my favorite. Green is for some other things, um, like soup and stuff, we're gonna use it for probably. But, uh, oops, I'm not supposed to do that. You're still gonna eat it, right? Okay. Oh, yes. Just check <laughs> Right, so what you're gonna do is nice little thin strips. This time I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna attempt to have them really thin. Because the thinner they are, the quicker they cook. And uh, yeah. So the quicker we eat. There we go. Pepper. And that's it, folks. That's all you need for fajitas. Chicken breast onions and pepper. Also
see you in a few minutes when we actually start cooking. Alright, so now we're down to the last part before the eating. So what we do is we heat up the wok here, nice and easy. Let it heat up for a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is chicken goes first until it kind of like gets that little brown color, you know. And when that's done, they go in because they're not supposed to cook for that long. Only like a couple of minutes just to get a little bit of a, you know, color to them and that's it. I mean, they're not supposed to be really, really well cooked because they're, eh, I don't like it. Yeah. So, yeah, so basically, and what I normally do is put a little bit of olive oil, not too much, just a little bit because the secret here is to make it as you would grill them, right? Uh, so, not too much, just a little bit there. And that's it. So, I'm gonna add the chicken in a second. Um, mm. Already smells of lime. You know what else we could add? Could add a little bit more of, um, of this, of the cilantro. Uh, but I'll think about it. That's, right, so let's do this. Let's just test if it's ready. Not really. Oh, almost. Okay, that's good. So what we're gonna do now, Everything in there. All right. Done. And and we bought this today. <laughs> so we're gonna use it for the first time. And just gonna give it a nice stir there. So I just spray it out a little bit. And what else we're gonna do is we're gonna drop we're gonna drop a little bit of salt in there. Like this one. Not much. Just a little bit. Cool. Nice. You know you're gonna say, oh salt is not healthy, but you can't really cook without salt, can you? It needs to be there. So yeah, that's all we're gonna do now. We're gonna wait until this is nice, uh, nicely done, and then we're gonna add the uh, peppers on the oven. All right. So um, like I said earlier, the chicken needs to change its color to so this little nice little golden brown, whatever you want to call it. We're looking at that, and this is about the right time to add the tomato or the um, onions and the peppers. So we're gonna do that. And yes, I understand that is interfering with the camera. Mr. Director, cameraman, slash um, hungry person, Ogi decided. Um, yep, yeah, so we got all that in there. And you know, mix it all up nicely. And leave it for, you know, I don't know, maybe another five minutes or so until everything is nice and cooked. And since it's Mexican Sunday, you can't have Mexican Sunday without Mexican beer. And lime again. And for all you beer drinkers out there, I don't think I need to explain how this is done. <laughs> Basically. Oh yeah, and that is almost done. Almost done. Then, drop that in there. Drop that in there. And, cheers! There we go. That, my friends, Looks about right. Alright, so I guess the last thing left to do is to prepare the tortillas. Which you could do with a microwave, but we don't have one. So <laughs> we're gonna do it old school. There we go. So basically. 
see. Not very warm yet, but uh. You have to switch it on. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> First. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Yeah. A couple of tortillas. Is that enough, Ogi? Mmm. Not quite, but. Nah. And we're gonna need a plate for them. More plates, more plates. Uh, yeah, it's done. You know. Yeah, they just need to be a little warm, you know. Slightly. And that's it, and then we eat. Okay, so here we are. We got guacamole. We got a ceviche or pico de gallo whatever what you want to call it because if I don't mix it with the prawns or the um, shrimps there then it's because they got if I mix it with that it becomes ceviche basically that's the only difference uh, and we got the shrimps that were marinated for about two hours or so I would say in lime juice which that just makes it perfect but before before we do anything we're gonna have a little shot of tequila not too much, because we have work tomorrow. That's about right. We don't have uh, shot glasses, so we're gonna use the good old plastic thingies. Uh, and Ogi likes to have lime for this shot, but I don't. So, here we go, cheers, salud. Uh, here you go, Mr. Cameraman. To Mexico. To London. Yeah. Right, so we take one of these, lay it down nicely there, then we take a little bit of uh, guacamole, and put it on there, then we take some fajitas, and get some onions in there, and some peppers, and some chicken, and I'll spread it out nicely. Then, we take some of that, we drop that on top here, I like a lot of it, and you wrap this bad boy up, and make sure you don't make a mess, and you take a bite. Mmm. -hmm. 